Welcome to the ITU studio in Geneva. I'm very pleased to be joined on the occasion of the World Telecommunication and ICT Indicator Symposium uh, by uh, Ms. Nagwa El Shanawi, who is the Under Secretary for Information and Decision Support for the Ministry of Communication and Information Technology of Egypt. Welcome to the studio. Thanks a lot, Max. <laughs> very nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. Now, I wanted to ask you, what is the current status of the ICT sector in Egypt? Yes, this is a very big question. Uh, current status of ICT sector in Egypt, um, Egypt already started its uh, plan for the digital transformation. And this, is, uh, this plan is already implemented by IMCIT in, uh, in cooperation with the different stakeholders in the country, government stakeholders as well as the private sector stakeholders. Uh, now we have, uh, uh, we, we started with the education sector. We have now uh, a strategy to integrate the ICT in the schools in our country. We already also have a very uh, promising uh, program for the healthcare sector as well. Uh, we have another one for uh, the, the, the culture. Uh, so ICT really, uh, by starting the digital transformation, uh, this will make a difference for the country during the next couple of years. Now at this symposium we've heard about the importance of ICT skills for social and economic development. How is Egypt addressing the issue of ICT skills and what more do you think governments and other relevant stakeholders can do to promote the acquisition of relevant digital skills? Uh, actually, one of the main pillar of the new strategy of the ICT, which is already launched uh, in, in the last months by the Minister of Communication Information Technology, is uh, building the digital skills in the country. Uh, this is not only for uh, helping and supporting the digital transformation, but as well as for the, the, the competitiveness worldwide. So we need the Egyptian maintain the digital skills in order to compete not only in the local market, but as well as in the uh, international market. So there is uh, programs for uh, using and deploying the different digital technology like IoT, artificial intelligence, cloud computing, big data, uh, all this program already started in the country and uh, there is, uh, there is uh, a lot of support from the ministry and from uh, the high level uh, uh, seniority of, of the Egyptian government. Uh, there is a support for building the digital skills for all the country, um, e uh, even in the, in the, um, uh, for the kids, starting from the kids in the schools until uh, the graduates uh, after they finish the universities. Now, we've had a lot of fascinating interaction here at the symposium. What outcomes would you like to, to come from uh, this symposium, in particular in terms of ICT skills for the future? Uh, for the symposium, really, every year I found it, it's uh, become more and more uh, impressive and more and more uh, coming out with fruitful outcome. Uh, for the policy maker, for uh, the indicator measurement, uh, I guess uh, uh, also the importance is, uh, is to combine what we have from this symposium in the expert group to start immediately to collect and to follow up what we already uh, agreed upon in the symposium in the two expert group, which is ECTI and EGH, the two uh, also successful expert group created by the ITU to helping the measurement uh, and to helping to collect uh, the data uh, from the different member states about the ICT and about the digital uh, uh, transformation and the digital skills as well. Because the more we know, the more we can do about it. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us in the studio and uh, we hope to catch up with you again in the very near future. Thank you so much and congratulations for the symposium and congratulations for your excellent work as usual. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. <laughs>